Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right, so I have an update for you guys. Uh, if you're currently a T-Mobile customer on an older plan, you might want to stick around for this because this this is going to affect you. All right, so I'm going to refer to two articles. We're going to make this a quick one, give you guys the quickest update that I can about this, just so you're informed and know what's going on and prepared to make a decision because a decision you will need to make. So the, the headline here is T-Mobile will migrate customers to higher cost plans. So what's happening is starting November 1st, T-Mobile is planning to force customers in a number of its wireless plans to upgrade to higher tier plans, which uh, of course will cost more. So the affected customers will be notified by text and email beginning October 17th, uh, according to a memo posted on a Reddit forum. Also, I can confirm that this information is true uh, because I've heard about this already. I went ahead and spoke to a customer service rep because I'm currently on one of these older plans. I am on the one plan, which is one of the plans that are supposed to be affected by this change. I spoke to a representative, very nice guy, told me what's going on, gave me the option to opt out, gave me, gave me basically an option to opt in to, to upgrade told me what the difference of the price would be for me i have five lines so it would be about five dollars more per line would have been 25 dollars more per month to me it's not worth it so i chose to opt out comparing the benefits i would have been upgraded to the go 5g plan comparing the one plan to the from the go 5g plan with the five lines that i have paying 25 dollars more a month simply just wasn't worth it for me. So he went ahead, made the changes. Uh, what he did is he placed a code in the system. According to him, he says, as long as that code is on my account in the system, no one can mess with it. No one can bother me to upgrade ever again. As long as that code is there, that code would have to be removed or I would have to contact them, ask them to remove the code before they could even upgrade me to anything else. So, just a heads up for you guys, that's how you can do it. Contact support, let them know you're not interested. If you're not interested, they'll put a code. They'll basically ask you why you don't want it. You'll tell them, you know, if you're not on, obviously if you're not interested, you'll say that it's not worth it for me. I, I'm comfortable with the plan I have, and that should be it. They shouldn't really put any pressure on you. This guy I had was very cool, didn't really do that. He simply said that they're just looking to upgrade people because a lot of customers are saying that they want more benefits. We know that that's partially true. A lot of it is they want to get everyone off these old plans. It's costing them money. They want they basically want to get everyone on more plans to make a little bit more money. It's just the way businesses work. All the carriers do it. Verizon does it. AT&T does it. So why should T-Mobile be any different? You know, at the end of the day, it's all about profits. All right. So according to the memo, the memo says that they are performing a rate plan migration of a small portion of consumer and business accounts to newer rate plans, starting with the November billing cycle. So customers, again, will receive an SMS and email with their new plan details and explaining that they have the ability to opt out by calling care. All right. So most price increases will be between five to ten dollars per line per month. All right. So obviously there's a lot of people that feel like this is a click and bait that they're just trying to move people over. That's an opinion that everyone is entitled to have. Um, at the end of the day, what really matters is you need to you need to figure out whether or not it's for you, um, whether or not you feel it's worth the switch or opt out. So that's that's the question here. Right. Do you feel these benefits are worth paying a little bit more or are you cool with the plan you have? For me, I'm cool with the plan I have. It's not worth it for me. So I won't judge you if you think it's worth it. At the end of the day, if it's worth it for you and you're willing to pay a little bit more money, then it's worth it for you. And then it's all good, you know? So it, that's really what it's all about. All right. So that's really it for this article here. I'm going to uh, leave the link for this article down below in case you guys want to read more about it. This is just kind of like some opinions and stuff of what people think about the whole situation. Uh, we just want to give you the dirt, the information. So if you guys are on a simple choice or select choice to essential select plan. So I'm sorry, if you're on simple choice or select choice, 
you're going to be upgraded to Essential Select. With that, you should see a $10 price increase per line. However, $5 of that will be offset with auto pay if on discounts from lines one to eight. So if you have one to eight lines, you'll get the $5 auto pay discount. If you're on simple choice or select choice, you're going to be upgraded to Magenta. Again, that will be $10 per line, $5 off with auto pay. If you're on the one plan like myself or Magenta, you will be upgraded to Go 5G and that will be $5 per line with auto uh, with auto $5 auto pay. So even though like right now I'm paying 144, that's with the $5 auto pay. So for me, it would be about $25 more with the auto pay. So it's still going to be more money. It's going to be more money. It's not worth it to me. I don't need it, you know? So, uh, what do we got here? Magenta 55 to go 5G 55, also $5 more per line. $5 could be offset with, um, with the uh, auto pay. Simple choice, select choice to business unlimited advance with one to five lines. This will be $10 per line. $5 off with auto pay. And then of course, last but not least, simple choice, select choice to business unlimited advance with six plus lines, uh, $5 per line increase. Doesn't look like they're offering a auto pay discount for that. So besides the price increase, you'd have to ask yourself the benefits too. Maybe some of you are on a plan that has even better benefits of what they're going to offer. You know, so that's another thing you have to weigh yourself. Like maybe you're getting additional lines that you might lose, you know, or certain perks that you might lose that are not being offered anymore. So it's about the price. It's about the benefits. For me, simply, it's not worth paying anything more. The benefits aren't any different to me. Certainly not better. Not when it comes to me paying more money. I don't really notice it. I don't really care about it. I'm cool with what I have, but that's me. So again, you'd have to ask yourself, should you switch or opt out? It's up to you. So that's the info is basically what we know right now. I can testify that you can opt out. If you speak to customer service, they really shouldn't drag their feet with it. It should be pretty simple. Like I said, they put a code there and apparently they won't bother you again. So if you value your old plan, it should be as simple as that, right? So. There you go, guys. The links for both of these articles will be down below. This way you can read more about it if you want. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.